Hey everybody and welcome to another craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to check out my website listed down below. You can sign up for my free newsletter, check out my free SVGs, and there's lots of other fun stuff over on my website, CorinneBlackstone.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse tie-dye. This is really fun and really pretty easy. I just took this fun spirit jersey, which I will link down below, and I added some bleach and some tie-dye. I'll link everything that I used for this video down below for you guys to make it really, really easy. And you can decorate these however you want. I just put a little castle over in the corner pocket logo area, but you could put something on the back. You could really do whatever you want with these. So let's get started. I can't wait to show you how fun this is. Whatever we would do, we do it just for to get ready for our reverse tie-dye, we start with this awesome spirit jersey. This is a J America brand, I'll link down below. But I'm gonna do a spiral on this and I need to find about where center is, which is not quite here, but I think that's gonna be close enough. So what I do is I pinch and then I just twist. And this is pretty much like the easiest tie-dye pattern to do if you are new to tie-dye. It's pretty simple, it's pretty fun, it's pretty easy, but you just twist it. So you can kind of do it however you want. You can scrunch it like this. You could do like little balls and put rubber bands around them. It's really all up to you, but I like to do a nice twist. We will do this outside. This is 100% cotton, so it will probably be a little orangey in the color scheme. But that being said, it will look pretty cool once we do the reverse tie-dye. Now I will say long sleeves in me with the twist don't always get along. So I do my best to get them to twist in to our twist. And then you're going to take this sleeve and you can kind of twist it along with the rest of the shirt. But again, this is pretty simple. You just sort of make a big cinnamon roll. That's the best way I can describe this, is a giant cinnamon roll. And the tighter you do it, the less bleach spots, so the less color you'll have on your shirt. So it really just depends on how you want your shirt to look. So if you want more bleach spots, you loosen it, because we are gonna process our bleach in the sun. It's the easiest way. So what you're gonna need is a piece of cardboard to put under your design, and then you're gonna need some bleach in a spray bottle that works best and we're gonna go outside. All I'm doing is spraying some straight bleach onto my shirt with a little spray bottle. I recommend doing this outside on a piece of cardboard and please make sure to wear gloves. You don't wanna get any of that bleach on your skin. I allow mine to process in the sun for about 20 minutes. I did notice that I missed some spots with bleach so I came back in and added more bleach. You can absolutely do that if you're unhappy with how much it is processing and if you had some more spots that you wanted to add more white to, you can just add more bleach. Then you're gonna come in and you're gonna flip it over and make sure that you keep that spiral together. You don't wanna unspiral it. And you're gonna just do the same process on the back side of your shirt. So you're gonna spray it with the bleach and allow it to process. Once the shirt is done processing, it's really important that you take it and rinse it out very, very well. And then you are going to wash it immediately before you do anything else. So I wash this on just a regular wash cycle. I don't do anything super special to it. You can just wash it regularly and you'll be all set. But it is really important that you do rinse it and then wash it before we move on to our next step. Now I'm using a spray tie-dye. You can use liquid tie-dye if you want, but I really like the spray. It gave me a lot more control. And you do wanna dampen your shirt before you do this. I just used the garden hose, it worked great. And that way it helps your colors bleed together a little bit more. So you can just make whatever pattern that you want to on your shirt. I clearly decided to do a fun rainbow, but again, it's really up to you. Now you wanna allow your shirt to fully dry on the one side before you flip it over cause you don't want your paint to like run. So I let mine dry for about 30 minutes. Then you're gonna flip it over and follow that same process on the back. It is important that you let your shirt kind of lay as flat as possible. That way you can make sure that you get all of the spots with the color that you want to. So I really wanted to make sure that I had my shirt laid out really, really nice. Now you don't wanna re-dampen your shirt when you do this because it can cause your colors to bleed 
cheap, but again, just spray your colors on however you want to, and then you want to heat set. One last step to the tie-dye portion of this is to heat set it. So I'm just gonna use my heat press, but you can use your home iron, which works great. I just have my heat press set to 300, and all I'm going to do is just press each section of the shirt throughout. I'm gonna do the front and the back because only the top plate is hot. So we're just gonna do quick presses, just a couple of seconds on each section to heat set that. Then we can add our HTV to it, and then you can add, you know, whatever you want, wash it like normal, and your shirt is good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish pressing all the parts of my shirt. All right, we've pressed everything on our shirt, we've heat set everything, so now we can add any design that we want. I'm adding some Caesar Electric and just doing a little tiny castle, but you can really do anything that you want. And once you've done this, you just follow the directions for your HTV to apply it to your shirt. I'm just gonna add this super simple design because this is such a super colorful and bright shirt that I figured we should just keep it simple. So this is Caesar Electric HTV and it heats at 305 for 10 to 15 seconds with a medium pressure and it is a warm peel. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this down and we're gonna let this heat and I will then peel it up and our shirt will be done. Once you're done heating it, you can go ahead and peel this. Like I said, this is a warm peel so you can just take that right off and I'll show you our shirt all finished. Here is the finished shirt. Again, you saw it's pretty easy, really fun, and I feel like this is something you could do with the whole family. Now, I will say my camera really picked up a lot of the overspray, but in real life, that overspray is really not that obvious, and I feel like the more you wash it, the less that overspray is going to be obvious, but for some reason, my camera really wanted to pick it up. I don't know, but I promise in real life, it's really not that bad. Um, and it will blend into the black, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. I hope you guys had so much fun checking out this reverse tie-dye. Make sure to check all the links down below for all the products used. Have a great day, and happy crafting!